All right, you lot, how are you doing? You've probably seen by the uh, title of this video, we're going to be looking at some old pens and stuff. I was rummaging around in the loft looking for some things. Ah, I'll give you a teaser. I've also found this old metal detector. That's for a different video though, eh? Bit of a bit of a teaser there. Now I found loads of old stuff from when I was a kid. So some of this stuff, well, a lot of it I was given. It's older than a lot older than 30 years. Um, and some of it was from when I was a kid. So it's 20, 25 years old or whatever. And it's got this old box because in this old shoe box, I remember getting these shoes when I was a kid. Anyway. Fox racing man back when I used to do the motocross well kind of so in here oh that's something else actually another for another video I've forgotten about them who remembers when yo-yos were all the craze Jesus Christ all right that's for a different video so in this box it's a, a load of old pens Parkers all different types of pens and another thing that I thought would be of interest um, probably going to try and revive this maybe in this video actually it's an old pocket organizer this was my granddad's I remember I can remember this when I was a kid I always used to want to have a go of it and uh, I was given it after he died back in the room sorry about that Had to uh, go and get something out of the freezer anyway so yeah we're going to revive this but I've got all these pens here some of them are a bit more interesting than others but we got uh, I think I, I think I was I think I was bought this one because I lo I loved Parkers and I tried learning calligraphy. I can't find somewhere somewhere I've got a set of calligraphy fountain pens, different colours and different thicknesses. But I don't know where they, those are. I wasn't trying to find these. I just found them in the loft. But we've got our Parker pen here in a little case. It's a bit scratched because you know <laughs> I was a kid. You know what kids are like. Box made in UK. It says on there. Oops. So yeah, we've got a little Parker pen. Quite a nice pen, it's not a fountain, it's just an ordinary ballpoint pen. Now I've got a notepad here. Let's try and find a it's just got a lot of call signs on there from when I was I was on a uh, I was on a band talking to someone on the radio the other day. Right, so let's have a look, see if we can see if this one works. This is god knows how old this is, at least 20 years old. Still works, look. Look at that. My writing is terrible. Hello. I can't write, by the way. Never could. When I say I was doing calligraphy, I was merely wanting to wanting to be able to write well, but I never managed it, never grasped it. So we've got a nice Parker pen there. Very nice. Very nice pen. Uh, we've got another one here. Now, I've got a funny feeling. This is, this is probably quite old. I was given this. I think my mum, my mum gave this to me. Um... Lifetime guarantee. I wonder if that's still appropriate now. Appropriate nowadays. I don't know whether these are still about. If your paper mate ball ball pen or refill fails to perform properly in any way, please return it to your paper mate dealer for exchange, or send it to the paper mate company, one zero one Silo S Silent Lane, Ellsworth, Middlesex. The guarantee is offered as an extra benefit and, of course, does not in any way affect your statutory rights. There we go, eh? What a fantastic pen. Let's see if this one works. God knows how old this one is. Still clicks well. No. Nope. Nothing. Oh, there we go. It's just started to come to life. Look at that. Yep. Oh, no, it's a little bit dull. Might be because the thing is with a ballpoint pen, if you hold it up like that, right, the ink, they, re they rely on gravity. Ballpoint pens do. They rely on gravity a lot. So, um, so I'll zoom out a little bit just to make it a bit better for you lot. Sorry about that. So if, you hold, if you're trying to write like that, the, the ink don't come to the end, so you've got to write downwards as if you was on a table. Well, it worked for a bit. I might be able to get a refill for it. I might be able to get a new. Well, you could you could get refills. Nah, see, it's not working anymore. But it did work a little bit. 
I'll, I'll have to look into that to see if you can still get refills or if you can get ones that will fit. And if, if I can, then I'll be getting one. Oh, that's probably around the wrong way. It goes that way. There we go. Yeah, so if you can get them, I'll get. I'll probably get a nice refill for this. This will be a nice pen to write down my call signs and that for. Now this one, this is another one here. Look, I think this is the same pen. It's just in a different little case. I was given this one. I don't know who gave it to me. Probably my mum, or I don't know who gave this to me. It might have even been my dad. I don't know where this one came from. But that's in a very nice little cardboard sort of case. Some unfortunately someone's drawn a little bit on there. It's got guarantee written on the bottom. Now this one's uh, this one's gone stiff. Let's see if we can work out. Oh, yeah, it's a bit jammed up in there. Don't know why that is. I don't want to break it, obviously. Well, we can see if it works. See if I can free that up later on. Yep, there we go. It's come into life. Look, lovely. It's a nice light blue. That one is. Whether it's meant to be a light blue, I don't know. It might, maybe the ink's gone a bit funny over the years. It's been set up in the loft, and I don't even know how old it is. But it's working. That is working. So if I can play around with this later on without breaking it, I might be able to free it up so that it will actually work. You know. How it's supposed to but at the moment that's not working we'll work that out the case at the top there the little bit of plastic slightly come away slightly out of shape but it's all right give that a bit of a clean up later on with a bit of cleaner and get that going so what else have we got i'm saving my favorite one till last all right i'm saving it well no i'm saving i've got two favorites all right so we'll go for this one actually there's another pen here but i don't think this is an old this isn't a particularly good one um amiga valves it's just an amiga valves pen comes in a little plastic case um, this isn't really that old this particular pen i don't think i can only imagine the fact that it says amiga valves on it um, gives me the impression that I would have got this from an exhibition because when I was seven, between my ages of 17 to well no just uh, probably about 16 and a half <laughs> roughly to 18 years old um, I was a welder fabrication welder and I worked for a company um, called tanker loading services and we used to do a lot of the um, valves loading skids and things like that for petrol tankers and petrol refineries oil refineries and we used to go to the exhibitions and uh, you get loads of free stuff you get all kinds of free stuff from people shirts pens lighters key rings all sorts of free things you know bags t-shirt etc omega valves gives me the impression that it would have come from there so that's probably well that ain't that's that's not that old 10 15 years old maybe don't know now this I'm pretty sure my mum gave me this one, one of her pens. Bull. Don't really know what that's all about. Some of you probably would would know what these are if you're more into pens than me. I like pens. I really do like pens. I, I, I'll collect as many pens as I possibly can. I've got too many pens, um, but I don't know a lot about them. That's a lot. That's the thing with me. I collect stuff, but I don't know a lot about stuff. But um, a Waterman, which I know was a good brand, Paris. Nice fountain pen there. Nice felt inside to the case. The case is plastic, which is a disappointment, but it could, could be metal. But that's, that's a lovely pen. Look at that pen, eh? Look at that. That's a fantastic pen. Really is. What an excellent pen. I'm not ha holding, holding out much hope for this because it's a fountain pen, and I should imagine it's probably properly dried up. Oh, and you've got any ink in it. Now, I did see. I've got some. I've got some anyway. Oh look, that's that's an old pen. There we go. I see some here. I mean, I have got some more, but there's some ink cartridges here, so I'll put one in there in a minute, and we'll see if it works. I'll do that last because I always get messy when I put ink cartridges in pens. 
I might have to try and um, do a few things to unblock it. I should imagine it's probably dried and blocked up because that happens a lot with bloody painting things. Um, what have we got here? Oh, that's just a pen. Uh, this is just an ordinary ballpoint pen. It's quite a nice pen. Some seems to have. I don't really know what's happened there. Something's either nibbled on it or something scratched it. I'm not really sure. But this is a nice pen. British American Racing Honda. Got that probably from probably got that from somewhere because I used to ride a Honda CRF 450R in 2005, and I don't know. I probably got that from somewhere like that. Honda pen. Um, right. Little couple of pens in a in a silver tin. Don't know what they're what brand they are. Um, it's like a nice sort of pen. Does it work? Well, it had a little bit of ink left on the end of it, but got a whole, I've got a whole lot of hope for that one. I might better free it up. I know a few little tricks and tips. I dare say some of you will better give me some more. But sort of um, getting the end hot, like steam from a kettle or something, can sort of uh, free them up. But that one doesn't seem to want to work. So we've got another one. This is just your ordinary ballpoint pen. Clicky, clicky. One doesn't seem to want to work either. Might better get that one going later on with a bit of perseverance. So those two are a no-go for now, but I don't know what brand they are, they're just in a plain case, nothing particular. Now this is I got this probably I think it's for Christmas or for my birthday. It needs to clean up because well yeah, but it's a Parker pen. I really hope this still works because this was my favourite pen, man. I used to write all sorts with this. I used to try and write stories and all sorts. I used to have a dictaphone and I'd uh, tell my story into a dictaphone because I used to like making up stories. I always wanted to write a book when I was younger. Made in the UK. And I'd, then I'd try and handwrite my stories out. It never worked because I could never read my own writing. So let's see. Really hope this one still works. Oh, look at that, that's fantastic, man. Yes, it's coming out purple. It's starting to work. Yes, we get, can't see, can you? Sorry, getting carried away. It's coming to life. Might need to try and get a refill for it. I mean, I'm assuming you can still get refills for the, these pens. They probably don't sell these actual pen, this actual pen anymore. I shouldn't think. I think these were quite expensive. definitely gonna have to try and get that one going again because that was literally like my favorite pen look at the little case the little packet that it came in man absolute quality it needs a clean though but I'll do that up got to try and get that one going again and then all we've got in here just a random ruler with a calculator on it my little well beaten up set bloody hell man talk about this is how much I used to like to try and draw on things and color in and draw in Crayons, 12 pencils, God knows what date these were. Made in France. I can't imagine there being a date, a manufacturing date on some pencils, to say the truth. Um, but look how beaten up they are, man. They probably went in a bag with me all over the place. Oh, man. <laughs> some of them are ruined. 
Oh, here we go. Sorry about that. Little minion turned up. Say hello, little minion. Hello. <laughs> so, yeah, these are my uh, pencils from when I was a kid. Most of them are broken. I must have broke most of them off. But some of them are alright. But I managed to keep them all there, though. They're all kept in there. None of them are, none of them are missing. And none of them are actually properly broken, only the only the ends. They can have a nice sharpen. And then what else have we got in here? Oh, a red pen. Oh yeah, we've got a red pen, but also this red. is this is this is my little geometry set. When I was uh, about five years old. Ooh, what's that? <laughs> I don't know why what well, that's all about. Scientific calculator instruction book. Look, we've got little um Pellet. stencils. Got all sorts in there. Look, compass, pencil sharpener, pencil, rubber, ruler, everything you could ever need. Uh, got a red. That's just a brown for a red pen. Some pep tip pens. Ooh. Do you want them? Yeah. I'll buy all of these, Dad. You can have them then. Lovely. Well, there you go. There's a little little look into some of my old pens. And uh, I thought some of you like, might like these old pens. Yeah. Yeah, everyone loves an old pen, doesn't they? <laughs> right. I've managed to find a battery. The, the ones that are in it was a uh, Maxell CR2032 3 volt. Oh, sorry. Out of, <laughs> out of view there. Um, so I've managed to find... I had one in this little packet, Kodak ones. I put a battery in it. And it made a noise like, you know, so it's obviously like well, little capacitors inside are all obviously charging up again. It won't be many, but there'll be little capacitors inside it. But the trouble is, it won't actually turn on. Sorry, I keep forgetting that you're out of uh, view. It won't actually turn on, which is a shame. Now, I don't know if this was broken anyway. I don't know if it if it stopped working. Um, at some point, 64 kilobyte, bloody hell, that's nothing now, is it? But I was hoping that it would turn on, but it won't. But it might, it might charge up, like the capacitors might charge up over a bit period of time. I don't know. Sharp Corporation, made in Malaysia. Got a little bit of a thing on the back here. Where are you? There you are. Before replacement, are you in focus? Before replacement, make sure to read the operation manual. How to replace operating batteries. <laughs> Power supply, 6 volts DC. Power consumption, 0 0.02 watts. Battery. So, I reckon it might not be working, because I've only put one battery in it. But the thing is, I've only got... CR2025 um, which I think would be a bit too thin but I could always try and see if I could make it work and maybe it'll power on so yeah, let's have a look shall we right so the way this is work the way this works is it's got two batteries there one is for normal operation I have to hold that there because it's got a sticker on it with a, an address on it um, a certain address of somebody so it's got battery here, which is for normal operation. And when you want to replace the battery, you need to flick that little switch there to back up. The backup's the backup's got the two zero the two zero two five in it, which is a bit thinner, but it seems to work. So we'll flick that back over to normal operation, and then if we open it up like that. Data has been impaired. Press Y to clear all memory. Y. Ah, it's gone off. I'm not quite sure whether that's got a password on it or what. I don't know if it hasn't quite got enough power in it. You can't see much of that, can you? I don't really know what the what the deal is with this at the moment off on ah 
Oh, there you go, we're on again. I wonder if all the little capacitors inside it are, are like, maybe they need replacing. They're brand new batteries I've just put in it, so they should be all right, should have enough power. That's interesting. Let's put that back to backup memory and back to there. Let's try again. See if we get the same screen. Hello, there you can see me. How oh, bloody hell. Ready? On. Uh. Alright, I'm going to play around with it. I'm going to play around with it over a, like, a little while and uh, I might better find some stronger batteries or something. Um, I might open the back up and see if the capacitors have puffed up or exploded or something like that. It's given the case, it's given the impression that there's not quite enough power there to power it because the screen goes dim. But they're brand new batteries, so I reckon it's probably something to do with the electrics inside. But I might have a look at that, might not. So there you go. If you enjoyed this video though, of the old uh, pens, it's something different. It's not particularly exciting. There might be someone out there that likes it. I can't wait to try and get this fountain pen working. I really like this one. And those other old pens over there. That one there. I like that one. So I'm going to try and get those going. Thanks for watching, you lot. And uh, <laughs> you know when the other one's coming up. The metal detector and the and the yo-yos. This one needs to be fixed. It's had a, it's had a strong old life. It's, I was probably about eight years old when I got this. I was in primary school. I know that much. Year five. So, yeah. Year four, year four, year five. That's, that's over twenty years old. These are these yo-yos. Why well, don't you look? Just to, just quickly doing this because my camera's going to run out of battery. Let's see if we can revive a couple of these pens. Just quickly, I'll try and revive this one. Uh, a little trick that I've I've always learned. It, it can mess a pen up, but if it don't work in the first place, I mean, what you got to lose? Get a tub of boiling water. Just dip it in, and the ink, yeah, the ink's already starting to free up. It's starting to run out. So there we go. Look, it's instantly freed that up. I don't know if you can see that, but it's instantly freed that up, and now it works. Oh, not very well, though. Might need a little bit more persuasion. But it, it, it is starting to work. Yeah, it's really starting to come through now. I don't know how long it might. It might be a case of it's dried up in the actual cartridge itself. I might need to sort of warm that up. It might have even run out. I really don't know. There's always the chance that it ran out. There's no thing on this. Let's try putting the whole lot in there. Warming the whole cartridge up. See if that does anything. Yeah, the ink's definitely running. Definitely, it's definitely running out. Oh, wrong, that's a bloody lid. <laughs> the ink's definitely starting to run out. So, no, not run out, but come out of the uh, nib. Yeah. Now yeah, we're starting to flow. Then it starts to run out again. Then it comes again, and it runs out. So there's a chance it's put, it might have just run out inside the. It might have just dried up inside the cartridge or something. Maybe I keep persevering on that one. Got to be a bit quick though because me um camera battery's about to run out. Did this one work or not? I can't remember. That one worked, so I don't need to do anything with that one. That one's a good old pen. Uh, oh, that one had a. That one was. These ones didn't work, did they? No, let's see if we can get these ones to work. Dip that in there. Some of you might be going to shout at me now. No, don't dip the nib in there. But it's what I've, someone said it to me. You know, breathe on it, warm it up, put it over a kettle of boiling water to the steam, heats it up, and it just any ink that's dried up in the nib, it just sort of undries it and makes it move again. Like this one, for example. Hopefully, you can see it's working now. 
I don't know. Oh, I don't think you can. So you can you because I'm right-handed. My hands in the way. Yeah, you. I think you can. It's starting to work now. And I only dipped it in there briefly. It's not working very good, but it is working. One more dip in there, and if this one don't work, I'll keep persevering at it. But just to show you, look, it does. It does make a difference, and it does get them going again. Yeah, that's starting to really work quite well now. That one is. And let's put that one back in there. What way did that go? That way. Uh, right, this one. This one didn't work, did it? Nope. Let's dip that nib in there. Try and free up some of that. Funny feeling this one ain't gonna have any of it. It might do. I've got the radios on in the background. I'm gonna have to keep persevering with that one because that one don't want to know. But there might be a chance that it's just run out of ink anyway, I don't know. So what other one did we have? Did this one work? Or was this the one that was stuck? Nope, that one worked. That one wasn't stuck. That one worked. So I've got no trouble with that one. Cover back on that one. That one worked. It must have been this one that didn't work, was it? Or was this the one that was... Oh, this is the one that was stuck. Did it work or did it not? I can't remember. Oh, that one worked as well. That was just stuck, but I'm gonna have to unstick that one at some point. Right, so I've got that one working, got that one working. The only one to get going now is this fountain pen. And as I just I've already explained to you, I'm rushing because I don't want the um I don't want the camera battery to run out before I've had a chance to uh finish this video. So We'll grab a cartridge. I'll turn that off. I've got the CB on. Got the CB radio on. Uh, stick a cartridge in there. That's gone through. Oh yeah, that's the working lovely. Things coming out of there lovely now. There we go. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I'm only doing this on one page because I don't want to waste too much of my notebook. But where are you? Look at that, that's working. Oh, it's a bit faint there. Might be because it's on a slant. There's a clean bit here, see this clean bit here? Like I said, me writing ain't no good. Don't, don't judge me writing, but the pen works. Well pleased with that pen. Oh well, there we go. I did have another Parker fountain pen, but I had loads of Parkers, different colour fountain pens, but I can't find them anywhere. Um, I've got this fountain pen here. It's just a cheap fountain pen. It's uh, not a particularly good one at all. Um, it's a thicker one, though. It's got a thick point on it. And that's also dried up. Yeah, that's got a thick writing that one is. If you do use water on a fountain pen, ink can be a bit bit fine, for, a bit uh, thin for a while, and a bit faint. Um, but that will uh, that will soon soon pass. So yeah, nice one, dudes. I'll catch you on the next one. I hope you enjoyed that. I know it's a bit random, pens and things, but I love pens. Love pens for some reason. I don't know why. I just really like a pen. So if I can get a nice pen, I've got all sorts of pens. Like RSGB pens. Um, prior uh, got some of these pens they're quite handy, quite nice pens yeah, nice one, catch you later dudes all the best